What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hopefully your 4th of July went well and safe out there. This has been making its way around for about a week, maybe two weeks total. So I'm not too sure how many people have seen this. It deals with SGC. It deals with the uh, Star Rubies, the Kobe Bryant that was slabbed. So it's really, really good to see that SGC has a guarantee. Now PSA does. Well, PSA's had one for a long time as well, too. But I was unaware of the SGC guarantee. So to the right side of the screen, you'll see the tweet or post, whatever you want to call it, on social media where a gentleman talks. Well, I don't know if it was a gentleman or a lady, but the individual talks about uh, the post that they made about fake rubies that was slabbed by SGC. He gets a phone call from the uh, uh, president at SGC they had a nice talk on the phone and he was really happy with the way the whole thing turned out in return you can see down at the bottom he blacked out everything I had to look at because I was like wait that's just a routing number down there but this is all over social media anyhow but it shows SGC paid out a large sum of money which was probably paid for this I know people are saying oh it's 50,000 it's 80,000 I, I I don't know either way it's a lot of money that was paid out by SGC for them slabbing a fake card in a slab really good to see something like this being done out there I know it's a big hit probably on SGC because you know that's a big loss whether it was you know 50,000 80,000 for this card, you know, originally they probably only got like 30 or 50 bucks to grade it. I'm not too sure. Maybe 100 I forget what their prices are now. But in return, this thing was circulated, bought, paid for. And then they had to, you know, purchase this card back because of the error of them grading it. So it is a loss for their company. But it's good to see that, hey, we're going to make things right. We'll pay you what you paid for it. We need the card back type deal. And it was legit across the board. I don't think this was in any SGC news out there. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you can see the date on there, June 24th. Uh, the check was issued out. So was that seven, a little under two weeks ago. So really good props out there to SGC. I, I like being able to see that there's some type of guarantee that if you mess something up out there and you grade it as authentic and it's not and it's been changed with money and everything out there, that they're going to make sure that you're taken care of in the long run. Really good stuff out there. So really happy to see another grading company uh, out there with a guarantee that, hey, we grade it. We're going to make sure you, you know, we, we put our stamp approval on it. If you sold them, you know, four or five times and found to be fake and there's been no tampering with it, same card, et cetera, et cetera, we're going to take care of it. So really happy about not to sure how many people seen about seen this at all. I don't know how many people still grade with SGC out there. I still like SGC on vintage and everything. Uh, that's what they, to me, they were known for uh, before COVID and everything. But all right, everybody, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen this or not. Uh, I know some people aren't real big with SGC and stuff like that there. They're not liking the labels and the slabs and stuff like that there. But overall, you have to appreciate the customer service and them taking care of, you know, something that they were faulted at. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. See you guys next video.